Hello again and welcome to another 5-minute Fly the Wing in-flight maneuver video. The Pilot Controller's Glossary defines Make Short Approach as a request that the pilot alter his traffic pattern so as to make a short final approach. And that means abbreviated downwind and final legs, cutting base anywhere between half the distance of a normal pattern to as close as even inside the runway threshold. The normal traffic pattern for 27 right at Gillespie takes us around 1300 foot Rattlesnake Mountain while the short approach takes us inside the mountain, flying a modified base and short final lake. Downwind, when cleared for the short approach, will stop climbing, cut power to idle, deploy flaps if we have them, and perhaps forward slip the airplane so we can descend at a steeper than normal angle to the runway without picking up airspeed. Well, let's jump into this Cub and go fly the short approach first at Gillespie's 2-7 right. Cub 23 quit short approach, touch and go. Cub 23 make short approach, runway 27 right, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, short approach, 27 right, Cub 23 So we've been cleared for, we can slowly start bringing the power back, we've already got car beat on, we can stop climbing at 1,000. Now Tower could ask you if you can do short approach for sequencing purposes, if you can't or you're not familiar, just say unable. But in this case, we asked for it, we got it, we're the only ones in the pattern, only ones at the airport right now in fact, so we're slowly bringing power back. If you had flaps in your airplane, as soon as you get into the white arc, you could start bringing those in. This airplane doesn't have any, so we're going to do what's called a forward slip. As we come into our modified base pattern, I add a little right aileron and a little high, or in this case, left rudder, let the plane slip down a little bit. I can kind of gauge it here. It looks pretty good. We do have a displaced threshold here, so we want to factor for that. And we don't want to carry any extra airspeed to the runway, so I'm going to pitch for 55 all the way down. Here's my modified base leg. doesn't happen uh, for very long. It's just a short jaunt over the 67 here. And we got a little bit of a left crosswind at the approach end of the runway, so I can actually overshoot just a little bit. And we got our airspeed dialed in, 55 on short final. There's that wind blowing us over to center line, and there's your short approach on 27 right. Next, we'll move over to 27 left. The normal traffic pattern looks like this, but we're going to cut our short approach base leg inside the 67 so it looks more like this. Here's the short approach on 27 left at Gillespie Field. All right, we've been cleared for the touch and go and a short approach here at 27 left, so we'll slowly bring the power back, start to decelerate the airplane. We have no flaps in the Cub. If we did, as soon as we get into the white arc, we'd start bringing those flaps down to help us get to the runway on a short approach. We're going to start the turn now, and what I'll do is introduce a little bit of a forward slip. As I put in some left aileron, I'll go to high or right rudder, let the plane slip down sideways, and then I'll kind of gauge as I come around on base how that's looking. Looks like I've still got a couple hundred feet to lose. So I'll keep the slip in on base. Try not to pick up too much airspeed. We're getting a little thermals off the buildings below us here as the heat of the day produces a little updrafts. That looks pretty good. I'll start to take the slip out, get to 55 for my final approach speed, and turn for the numbers. Gas undercarriage, mixture prop switches, everything looks good. A little bit of a left crosswind. It's going to help blow us right toward that center line. Bring in just a little power to get there. There's no displaced threshold here on 27 left. There's no obstacles in front of me, though. As I get over the threshold, I'm going to slowly bring power to idle and just hold it off until the airplane's done flying. You should only conduct short approaches upon approval at towered airports. At non-towered airports, you always want to fly a more predictable pattern. A short approach is something you can put into your pilot bag of tricks. It takes the elements of an otherwise stabilized approach and compresses them into a much tighter pattern, requiring you to really fly the airplane and get it down to the runway under control at proper airspeed without flying a standard traffic pattern. Ask for it at your airport when there's nobody in front of you and practice dialing it in in various wind conditions too. Have fun, fly safely, and fly often, and I'll see you next time for another 5-minute Fly the Wing in-flight maneuver video.